Hey guys, uh, Young Prepper, and today, well, we're out in the RV again. Uh, today we're building a mini ram pump off of Engineer 775's design. Um, it just scaled down a lot, so I can carry it in my bug out bag, or, um, yeah, I can take it anywhere. So, um, we're going to show you how I do this. Um, I'm short on time, so I'm not going to tell you the parts. I will um, leave the parts list in the description in the video. So if you guys need parts, you can just look down there. So uh, here we go. So first, oh, by the way, these are all half inch fittings, one and a half inch pipe, and some eighth inch fittings over there. So half inch, one and a half inch, and eighth inch. Okay, so um, first, what you do is you're gonna take the four, ha or three of the four half by close fittings and screw them into one of the half inch tees. These fittings are all screwed together. You can do glue if you want, but I don't like that. Um, half inch street elbow screws on just like that. Next, you are going. going to take your half inch valve or flapper valve whatever impetus valve with the arrow pointing to the right of you on the left side you're going to screw in the half inch by two and a half inch nipple on the side that there is pointing to that's going to screw onto here To use it to stand, you want an elbow there, and you want the top right there, and it'll keep it standing. Next, what you're going to do, you're going to take your other half inch threaded T, screw one, one of the half inch by checks, or not by check, but by close in there, and over here, you're going to screw that on. So the T is pointing up like that. Next, you're going to take your next, your second, whatever, 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 um, threaded impetus valve, um, flapper valve, whatever you want to call it. I like flapper valve. Um, you want the arrow, wait a minute, you want the arrow to point down. So, uh, screw that on. Guys, I'm sorry, I don't have a tripod. I'm just set, setting the camera down and picking it back up. So, um, now you're going to take your half inch thread to nipple. Or if you're going to use solid pipe, you don't even need this. But, um, I'm just going to be using the irrigation line. So, um, screw that into our half inch. Okay, so we have the basic layout done. Now we take our half inch ball valve or eighth inch ball valve, depending on how you're going to do this on the end. I just have the half inch line around. And we're going, we're going to screw it on to the street elbow. So it's like that. So you can turn it on and off. Now you're going to take your half inch thread to eighth inch thread reducer. And we're going to screw that in. screwed in. So now we're going to take our eighth inch thread to nipple, not nipple, but a barb, and screw that in to the reducer. Okay, there. 
And we're gonna take our eighth inch aquarium tubing. It's best to have the black stuff so uh, algae doesn't grow. But I just had the clear line around, so I figured, eh, why not? And we're gonna stick that on there. That's gonna be your outlet pipe. Next, you're going to take your half inch thread to one and a half inch slip reducer and put your one and a half inch slip coupler on there. Now, you're going to take that and screw it right on top of your T. This is going to become your pressure vessel. Well, part of it. So, you screw it on. There. And now you're going to take one and a half feet or whatever size you want of one and a half inch pipe, put your iron cap on it, and put it in. So, let's see here. Lord. Here's the ram pump. Zoom in on the pieces. Get all that. That. And so, well, we're done. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to build a gold recovery unit to put onto this next time. Uh, with what this system's pumping, you'll recover about $5,275 worth of gold in one year. So, um, I'll show you how to do that in the next video. If you guys want to see how that technology works um, on YouTube, you can type in gold recovery unit and uh, click on the first thing that comes up. Or um, you can go to, um, or you can Google the quantum gold recovery unit. Or, um, yeah, you can find it. Um, that will recover a lot of gold in one year. Um, this will recover uh, gold that's diluted in water that uh, can't pull out any other way but with activated carbons and charcoals. So um, I'll show you that next time. And for now, support the Second Amendment. Be safe, guys. Bye.